for these discussions, Ms. Pat Morrison. She is best known as a longtime reporter and columnist for the Los Angeles Times, where she has won numerous awards, including two Pulitzer Prizes. In addition to the Times, Pat is a regular commentator on National Public Radio, Morning Edition. She was a founding host of Life and Times on KCET TV, for which she won six Emmys and six Golden Mike Awards. In addition, she is a senior fellow in the Luskin School of Public Affairs at UCLA. It is my great pleasure to introduce Pat Morrison, who will moderate today's program. Please join me in welcoming Pat to the podium. Last night I found out he has season's tickets for the Bears and the Rams, but what really won my heart is that he loves the Packers in his heart, so thank you so much. So welcome to the future. I am your Time Lord, Pat Morrison. Oh, see, I knew we had some Doctor Who fans out there, because you're the ones who were laughing at that reference to the BBC show. But if you're more literary, then I can say this is H.G. Wells' time machine that we're living in right now. Because we are, today, with the work you're doing, traveling into a future where hope and possibility have become fact and reality. It's a future where stem cell therapy and research can cure or treat or prevent some of the most terrifying disease monsters in the human imagination. Some of you may remember back in Jerry Brown's first term as governor in the 1970s, there was a Chicago newspaper columnist who mockingly called him Dr. Moonbeam, or Governor Moonbeam, excuse me, Dr. Moonbeam would come in time. 40 years ago, Jerry Brown said California should have its own telecommunications satellite. And of course, they laughed at him. Now keep in mind, this was a time when most of us didn't even know what a telecommunications satellite did. So years later, that columnist apologized for that name, Governor Moonbeam. But now the governor embraces it. He's even referred to himself as that. And he says, if we have to, California will launch, quote, its own damn satellite. Now, we have always lived out here alone, left to our own devices. And now we have left the rest of the country behind when it comes to imagination and applied imagination to make our lives better. We Californians have always been farsighted. We have been future-minded. And the voters proved it again in 2004 when they voted to spend $3 billion to fund regenerative medical research, which is why we are all here today. Here in California, we believe in research. Here, we believe in science. Here, we believe in an enlightened and a humane future. And here today, that's what we'll do. We'll find out what that future looks like. So back to my role as Time Lord, which is enforced with a hat pin, so watch out. We have two coffee breaks of 10 minutes each. We'll start up on time, so we don't want you lallygagging over the Danish. Is there Danish? OK, you'll have me there. Lunch is 50 minutes long, and you can find that you will digest better while you're listening. So we expect you back on time. Or you may find yourselves in a time warp somewhere outside. As for questions, we'll look forward to yours during the afternoon round table. We will bring the microphone to you. You will stand up so we can all see your great glowing intelligence, and you can ask your question. But throughout the day, if you're thinking of questions, there are no cards around. What I want you to do is write out your question. We'd like to have your name on it and your affiliation, if you would. Hold it up, and someone will come take it from you, and we will organize these and try to put them to our panelists in the afternoon. And if we have more questions than we can answer, we will also try to get those answered on the website, so the discussion will continue there. So seat backs and tray tables in your full, oh, sorry, wrong announcement. Uh, put your phasers on stun, your phones on silent. You're welcome to tweet the event. The hashtag is CIRM, C-I-R-M-S, all caps, symposium, everything caps except imposium, CIRM symposium. But please don't record audio or video of these sessions or take photos of the panelists or the speakers in progress. And so. For the first of my introductions, I hand over the controls to C. Randall Mills. He's the president and CEO of CIRM, on the job for almost two years now, running maybe what we could call CIRM 2.0, dedicated to streamlining, streamlining the time it takes up to match up the money and the most promising therapies that are out there. 
Before this, he headed Osiris Therapeutics. Now, Osiris was the Egyptian god of the afterlife, and it's a name that can mean new hope for ailments that once proved fatal. As the first of today's keynote speakers, Randall Mills is here with the CIRM report card, which is about both progress and performance. So we'll get to hear the grades we've been earning and the grades we've earned. 